Big machines. Some customers are tired of those machines not working and tired of getting hassled in by fair inspectors. Randy Neves is live at Southwest 18th and Morrison to show us an example. Randy. Yeah, Tracy, we have a pretty good example of this right now. Behind us, this ticket vending machine has not been taking bills. That caused trouble for one rider who lost his money and was confronted by a fare inspector on board the train. TriMet says it's working on the problem. As TriMet races to get max fare machines working... It's challenging. Some days more challenging than others. Customers face daily challenges trying to coax tickets and avoid getting in trouble with fare inspectors. I put in five, my five bucks in and it doesn't give me a ticket back, so I have to like sneak on the max and get to my destination. Corey Jarvis got a warning after this machine ate his five bucks and left him penniless. TriMet is aware of the problem. We couldn't fix machines during the storm, maintain them, um, and even in the process of replacing old machines. So it just stopped everything in its track. The transit agency says there are six platforms on this system out of 100 right now that have no functioning ticket vending machines at all. That's an improvement over last week, but still not good enough. We need to do better, um, and we're working on it. In the meantime, customers are striking back with his website, trimetdown.com. Hadley Price is getting public help tracking broken machines. This could help them realize that people are not very happy. Sometimes you just have to get on, and hopefully the, the fair police aren't going to get you that time. TriMet says it will warn first-time offenders who don't have proof of fair due to a broken machine. It's also working to phase in brand new, more reliable high-tech machines. Welcome to TriMet. Whether it's glitchy software or jammed coins crippling these 20-year-old machines, TriMet is anxious to close the door on this controversy. As TriMet catches up with uh, maintenance on machines like this and installs the new brand new high-tech card-only machines, it, uh, it is asking riders to buy multiple tickets ahead of time to avoid any problems. Back to you. Well, let's hope it gets fixed.